Hi guys, um, just recently I made a video. I was looking through YouTube just to find a video about bezel making uh, because I realized people are making videos and putting a lot of effort time into making this old way of making. I came across this one video, Andrew Berry, and uh, so I made some comments on that video. Right now I want to show you guys how to make a bezel stone and what I meant when I criticized that video. This is something different, something uh, unique. Uh, I've uh, figured this stuff out for uh, last 20 years of, uh, you know, working on uh, making a lot of jewelry, a lot of designs. So I'm going to show you, share it with you guys. Hopefully this is going to help you to make stuff really fast, really quick and good stuff, you know. So I'm going to uh, show you guys step by step. And if you guys have anything uh, to add to uh, the comments, please do so because I want to know what to do, how to make better videos. That was something I experimented and hopefully that helped you guys to bring the awareness up and uh, here we go so i have this stone which is like large uh, oval stone i'm gonna make a bezel for this and i'm gonna make the plate in the bottom and put the bezel with the plate solder it together so once you're done you can have um, a casting made and we can basically like clean the casting have the bezel ready um, that, that you can use for any anything like you can make ring with it and pendant or whatever you are uh, working on whatever you're gonna make but I'm gonna show you guys how to make this bezel uh, fast quick and it's gonna work fast as possible since since time is money and we can't bring time back we can make more money so I'm gonna show you guys how to save time and make something that is very quick very fast here we go so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pieces and make it so first thing first, I'm going to measure, so the way it's going to happen is first thing first, I'm going to measure the side where the bezel is going to be, which is like, I believe this is like really good where this is going to be since the bottom has a curve too. So I have to kind of encounter that and then where the bezel is going to collapse and hold the, the bezel. I don't want to be too far up where I can make the stone too small, but I think this is about right so this is where I'm gonna work with this wax uh, sheet I'm gonna make this line like that and this is perfect for what where what this is right there I'm gonna use my special knife if you guys if you guys want to see this knife I have a video I will, I will put a link uh, how to make this special knife uh, that makes everything easier and faster and just cut it nicely even There we go So this is a nice piece of wax sheet. Okay, so this is the outside bezel This is where I'm gonna use so in order to um, since wax has a memory built in it I'm gonna make this go around like that. So this is gonna make it a little bit easier. Right now I'm gonna put it like that. Just make sure that this is even and nice. Take my knife. So I just wanna make sure that this is like nicely hugging the stone and pushing, push it down so it's even. So I want to get a little bit of wax here, like that. So I'm going to burn, as you guys know, where the cut meets, the two parts meet each other, there. So this here, I can make this in about a minute, without talking, without explaining anything. I just cut it, turn it, and then solder one minute, I'm done. The bezel's ready. So next is, when I was, uh, uh, watching the and, and, and talking over uh, Andrew Barry's video uh, he was trying to solder two parts together which is the bezel and the bottom piece so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this also I just want to put this on top like that and then just just cut piece of wax like that and like that basically this is the bottom plate 
goes like this. Now I can do this in, a, in, in two different ways. I can trace it and cut it and then solder it back together or I can solder it and then cut it. It doesn't matter. Whatever uh, you're gonna get used to, that's how you're gonna do it. Um, one thing I wanna do is whatever, what you guys saw in that video is the soldering part. That, that video is about 20 minutes long. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when the new technology, uh, this is how you do this new technology, this is how it works. Our minds are machines. So you can put programs in it. So what I wanna do is I wanna remove the stone slowly, nicely, put it here. This is the bezel. I wanna lay the bezel on top and I just wanna like push it a little bit gently, make sure this is evenly distributed there's no open gaps, right? I wanna make sure really seriously everywhere it's touching evenly like that. This is evenly touching everywhere. So instead of using solder, fire, the techniques, how to do all that, this is, that's like 10 years of experience. I'm gonna show you guys, like you can learn how to do this in a few days instead of 10 years of experience. You're gonna get a crazy glue like that and then you're gonna open it and then you're gonna apply it here okay and then you're just gonna put it together let it let it run through the gaps make sure this is like nicely running that's it I'm done this replaces all that 20 minutes of solder I'm done all I have to do is wait a few minutes let it dry and we're gonna continue this all right so guys like I, I made that video and I noticed that a uh, few of you guys are doing thumbs down which is you're not liking what I was saying. I wanted to put that controversial style video out so you guys can like get your attention and then show you guys how to make this in like really really short way uh, time and uh, I hope you guys those those guys that 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 did the thumbs down that they, they were thinking like this video is not all that um, they come back and, and learn this. This is there is a reason I did that, and then the reason I wanted to show you guys get your attention first, show you guys how to make it really, really, really fast. Now I'm gonna continue making this. I could be using like very quickly, gently, nicely, just cut this out like that. There we go, and it's ready. We made this bezel for this stone, right? It's perfectly gonna fit here, no problem. Okay, as you guys know, a lot, lot of times we use bezels like this, the bottom closed, and then sometimes we wanna open the bottom so we can show from the stone from the bottom. So what you wanna do is like, if you wanna make that kind of bezel, what you wanna do is like get a nice file, large, Clean the outside excess wax. There we go. I take my campus and open and kind of like be, I want to give a little bit of nice space here. And I want to make this line go like that from inside. I want to take my special knife and I want to insert in there, do layer by layer and by layer, go down to the base 
like that, like that. I want to just do the little bit of the line, like that. You just have to be a little bit patient here. Instead of finishing in one minute, finish it in three minutes. Even cuts, make sure you're tracing from the same groove that you started right there. All right, so I'm almost, almost three quarter way down and almost, almost reaching the bottom. So I feel like I'm in the bottom now. And there we go. This is how we're gonna cut this, like right there. And then I just wanna gently push like that. So, so, so right now I want you to guys understand this. This stone, natural stones, they have their own uh, heat, kind of, so to speak. They're a little bit warm and, and they're sticky. And then that wax is sticky. In order this piece doesn't stick to the wax and it's gonna be hard to remove, what I wanna do is I wanna use um, this, which is baby powder. Baby powder is gonna be uh, in between the stone and the wax and it's not gonna allow it to stick to each other. So what I wanna do is like, I wanna just apply it like that. A little bit the bottom. Now that I'm using the baby powder, it's becoming slippery, which is good thing, like that. And then maybe like just apply in there a little bit. Baby powder, not too much, just a little, like that. And let's take this stone and insert it in there. Make sure that this stone is nicely snug and beautiful. And you guys can do some more work or you can choose to do some more work on the silver. But let me push this out. Here we go. And this is how we make a bezel in very very fast short different way i call this the new technology and if you guys want to do the old technology it will take you to make this bezel about two hours or more with this method you can finish this bezel in less than five minutes with with no interruptions and that's all it takes so I hope you guys uh, learn how to make uh, a bezel in a different way the, with the new technology. And please let me know if you guys uh, want to know anything more, uh, how to do different ways of bezel, different stuff. I'll show you guys different ways. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and I love you.